The year was 2004, and young Morrow Markey had just graduated from Medford High School. Bridget went to Medford High also, but they never really met, never really spoke. After high school, Morrow would go to his favorite local bar, Hugh O'Neill's, in Malden, every night. Five years would pass, and then in 2009, he was out with friends one night at Hugh O'Neill's, and there was Bridget. They struck up a conversation, and then after that night, they began to see each other there frequently. And so slowly, they became friends. Then in the summer of 2009, there was a booze cruise for a friend's birthday, and they sailed through Boston Harbor. After the cruise, they went to the Cornerstone Tavern in Boston, and there, they shared shots of Jameson whiskey. And after that magical night, after that Jameson's whiskey night, as the days turned into weeks and months, Morrow and Bridget became inseparable. And soon they had gone from being new friends to being close friends. And then suddenly, they were hopelessly in love, soulmates. One night, just to be funny, Bridget asked Morrow when he was going to propose to her. Morrow said, I'll give you a hint. And then he panicked, because he had no hint. He looked at the TV, and the TV was set to channel 36. So Morrow said, your clue is 36. Bridget asked him over and over again, what does 36 mean? Actually, Morrow had no idea what it meant. So now, he had to come up with something. He finally found the perfect idea. 12, 12, 12. December 12 of 2012 would be his proposal date. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals 36. So his clue would turn out to be a perfect clue. So now, it was December 12, 2012. Morrow sent Bridget on a scavenger hunt, which took her from the apartment to the car, to the mailbox, back to the car, back to the mailbox, back to the apartment, and on and on and on. And when she finally followed the last note of the scavenger hunt, it led her back to the apartment. This time, Morrow was nowhere in sight. And this time, in the center of the floor, there was a large heart formed from fresh roses. There was a card in the middle. Bridget picked up the card and read it. It said, when you have solved the scavenger hunt, please say the answer out loud. Bridget thought it can only be that 36 number. So she yelled out, 36. And then she waited. When she turned around, there was Morrow on bended knee. In his hand was an engagement ring. And then Morrow spoke. He said, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Bridget paused as she tried to process what was happening. And as a tear rolled down her cheek, Bridget yelled, yes. And that brings us to this moment, right here, right now. Please welcome, officially, for the second time on the planet Earth today, Mr. and Mrs. Morrow and Bridget Markey. Bridget and I would like to thank you all for coming to our celebration. If you are here in this room, it's because we love you and we want you to be here with us on our special day. Tradition dictates that Bridget and I go table to table and hug every one of you and shake hands with every one of you. We do intend to do those handshakes and hugs, except we will be doing them on the dance floor. So we look forward to having you there. And now please raise your glasses to the most beautiful woman on the earth. Never afraid to take chances. Always a free spirit, whether it be dyeing her hair some crazy color or taking off to see the world. You've always embraced every experience in life with such enthusiasm, grace, and fun. And the choices you've made, especially in the wonderful man you chose to be your husband. From picking us up when we lock ourselves out of our house, <laughs> um, to putting furniture together, or just an ear to listen when we need someone to talk to, you've always been there. It's knowing that you can always depend on someone. They'll be there through the good times and the bad. So officially, I want to welcome you to the family, <laughs> to Bridget and Moro. As you sit by side through the roller coaster of life, may you scream through the peaks, hold hands through the dips, laugh through the loop-de-loops, and enjoy every twist and turn, for the ride of life is better because you're together. In middle school, Morrow and I made a pact that we'd be each other's best man, best friend for life, and partner in crime. I can truly say, having known Morrow so long, that I've never seen him as happy as he is when he's with Bridget. 
They have an uncanny way of being, having fun together and just a good laugh. It doesn't take much. All it takes is just being together. Hanging out is often just as fun as singing mock karaoke at the uh, Cornerstone. There isn't anything that they do that they don't have fun doing together. I never thought my purebred Italian friend would be marrying an Irish girl. When you look at them, you see true happiness. So the smiles and laughter show it, but really the crowd that came here tonight to see everything really illustrates it. So, for a wonderful couple and a lifetime of happiness together, you're a great couple and we wish you all the best.